Jay Feather is a small gray tabby tom with blind blue eyes and a scar on his flank from a fight with Breeze Pelt. He and his littermates, Lion Blaze and Hollyleaf, are the kits of Leafpool and Crowfeather. Because Leafpool was a medicine cat and the feather of her kits is from a different clan, meaning she had broken the warrior code in two different ways, she asked her sister Squirrelflight to pretend the kits were hers. In order to do this, they left the camp when Leafpool knew her kits were on the way, and they were born out in the forest. Leafpool chose the name Jaykit because his eyes were as blue as a jay's wing, and she decided right away that his name would one day be Jayfeather, after his father. Shortly after his eyes opened, they realized that Jaykit was blind, though this didn't bother the kid himself since he had never known anything different. Jaykit and his littermates believe Squirrelflight and Brambleclaw to be their parents. As kits, they are mostly raised in the nursery by the permanent queens Ferncloud and Daisy, since Squirrelflight had no milk and chose to return to her warrior duties. The clan often treated Jaykit with pity due to his blindness, which he found annoying. He was a ThunderClan cat like any other, after all, and he didn't want to be treated differently. Jaykit's hearing and sense of smell were particularly strong, and from a young age he was able to sense other cats' emotions. Shortly before Jaykit, Lion Kit, and Holly Kit reached their sixth moon, a ThunderClan patrol found a dead fox on their territory, and the three kits decided to hunt the fox cubs. They weren't prepared for how big the cubs were and had to flee from them, which ended with Jaykit falling into the hollow. While he lay in the medicine cat's den, sore from his tumble, a StarClan cat, Spotted Leaf, visited him. When he told Leafpool about this, she suggested that he be her apprentice, but he hated the idea of being a medicine cat separated from his clanmates and smelling of mouse bile. He wanted to be a warrior, like Brambleclaw and Firestar. Since the three of them behaved after their ill-fated adventure, Firestar decided to not delay their apprenticeship ceremony. Knowing that Jaykit wanted to train as a warrior, he appointed Brightheart as his mentor, thinking that the one-eyed she-cat would be best suited to training him. Jaypaw was resentful of this, but eventually accepted her as his mentor. This didn't mean that he would meekly obey, however. He occasionally went out on his own without permission, which usually ended up with him getting into trouble. One of these times, he decided to follow Leafpool to the moon pool and ended up entering her dream while he, he was there. Between this and the fact that he had a good memory for herbs, Leafpool was even more certain that he was meant to be her apprentice, even though Hollypaw had already decided to train as a medicine cat. Jaypaw and Brightheart's patrol was attacked by Shadow Clan on the border, and Jaypaw realized during the battle that he wasn't able to fight without Lionpaw's help. Tigerstar and Hawkfrost visited him in his dream and offered to teach him how, but Spottedly found him there and led him out of the dark forest. It was during her discussion with him afterward that he had to accept what he had known all along, that he had a gift for being a medicine cat. Meanwhile, Hollypaw realized that what she wanted was to be a warrior. The two of them came to Firestar nearly at the exact same time to ask to switch to roles. Jaypaw quickly grew used to using his special abilities. He spied on the other medicine cat's dreams, brought Poppypaw back from StarClan while she slept, and during a special daylight gathering, he saw through Lionpaw's eyes while a den collapsed beneath him and was able to rescue him. Then he walked in Firestar's dream and saw him talking to an old cat who delivered a prophecy. There will be three, kin of your kin, who hold the power of the stars in their paws. Jaypaw knew that this was talking about he and his lendermates, and he was excited about what it might mean. He continued to experience other cats' dreams, including one where he realized that Cinderpaw was a reincarnation of the former medicine cat Cinderpelt. The StarClan cat Yellowfang scolded him for it, but he realized that she wasn't able to stop him from trespassing in other cats' dreams. Jaypaw found a strange stick by the lake one day. It had many lines scratched into it, and it felt important. Soon afterward, he discovered its importance in a dream. There had once been a group of cats near the lake that went into the tunnels underneath the territory as part of an initiation, and the stick marked which cats had escaped and which had died. During his dream, an ancient cat named Fallen Leaves attempted his initiation, but drowned when the tunnels flooded. Jaypaw, unfortunately, got to experience this himself not long afterward. A couple of Clan cats went missing. Limepaw suspected that they were in the tunnels. He brought Jaypaw and Hollypaw with him, and they met up with Breezepaw and Heatherpaw, who were also searching in the tunnels for them. They found the kits, but the rain started when they were there, and the tunnels began to fill with water. 
J. Paul had a vision of the ancient cat Rock with the stick, and realized that the stick had come from the cave and exited into the lake. So he and the other young cats entered the river and were able to use it to make their way out. This whole ordeal sparked his interest in the ancient cats. In a dream, Rock told him that he'd find the answers he sought in the mountains. After a couple tribe cats made their way to ThunderClan territory to ask them for help, a patrol was sent to go to the mountains, and Jaypaw, Lionpaw, and Hollypaw were granted permission to come along. While there, Jaypaw discovered that the tribe hadn't always lived by the mountains, and that Rock came from a time before they had moved there. Rock and the tribe's ancestors had all been waiting for the three to come, and so Jaypaw finally decided to tell his lettermates about the prophecy. The prophecy began to dominate his thoughts, and he wondered what it might mean for them to have more power than StarClan. This was also when they started to identify their powers. Linepaw knew that Jaypaw was able to tell what other cats were feeling, and Linepaw himself had fought in the battle against the mountain invaders without being hurt. The clan cats returned to their home at the lake. After Cinderpaw re-injured her leg, Jaypaw came up with the idea of strengthening her leg by swimming. It worked wonderfully, and after the eclipse battle, she became a warrior with Jaypaw's littermates, Cinderheart, Hollyleaf, and Lionblaze. A loner, Sol, had predicted the eclipse, and Jaypaw suspected that he might know something about the prophecy. Instead of helping them, however, he chose to go to Shadow Clan and ended up disrupting their faith in Star Clan. The former Shadow Clan leader and medicine cat, Ragged Pelton Running Nose, asked Jaypaw for help with their clan. So he, his lettermates, and Tawny Pelt's three kits made a fake sign from Star Clan, which became real when Ragged Star and Running Nose showed up to speak with Black Star. Sol was kicked out, and Hollyleaf insisted they didn't need him. Jaypaw learned more about the ancient cats when he had a strange experience. He had been dreaming of fallen leaves, the cat who had drowned long ago, but when he emerged from the tunnels, he found himself in the past. The community of cats near the lake recognized him as the cat they knew, Jay's wing, and they were having trouble with two legs around the lake. Jaypaw suggested they travel to the mountains, and they voted on it, which they referred to as casting stones. They set off on their journey, and he knew that one day they would become the tribe of rushing water. Rock appeared to him and told him that the original Jay's wing had vanished on the journey to the mountains, and Jaypaw returned to his own time. ThunderClan was dealing with a bout of green cough that was bad enough that Firestar lost a life, and Jaypaw and Leafpool feared that more cats would die. A young StarClan cat named Bright Spirit appeared to him and told him to seek for the wind, which Jaypaw interpreted as meaning that there was catmint on WindClan's territory. He convinced Lionblaze to fetch it, and to reward Jaypaw for saving the lives of so many cats, Leafpool gave him his full medicine cat name, Jayfeather. Not long afterward, lightning struck the camp during a storm, starting a fire. As Jayfeather, Lionblaze, and Hollyleaf were climbing out of the hollow, Ashfur trapped them on the edge of the cliff, blocking Squirrelflight from helping them. Ashfur claimed that he was going to let them die so that Squirrelflight would feel the pain that Ashfur felt when she'd rejected him, and Squirrelflight revealed that the three of them were not her kits. Jayfeather walked in Ashfur's dream to try to spook him into keeping the truth a secret, but it ended up not mattering. Ashford would have told the clans anyway, but was found dead on the way to the gathering. Jayfeather was determined now to discover who his real parents were. He eventually put it together that Leafpool was his mother, and Yellowfang brought him a crow's feather in a dream, revealing that Crowfeather was their father. He told his littermates. Hollyleaf couldn't stand the idea that she was half-clan, and ended up revealing the truth about their parentage at a gathering. She ended up running off, upset, and revealed to her brothers that she had killed Ashfur. Jayfeather saw the truth of this in Hollyleaf's memories. She ran into the tunnels, which collapsed on her. Shocked, Jayfeather and Lionblaze decided that they didn't want the clan to remember her as a murderer, and instead told them that she had died chasing a squirrel into the collapsing tunnel. Jayfeather began to wonder what would happen to the prophecy now that there was only two of them. But then he realized... When White Wing's new kits left the nursery for the first time, that Hollyleaf wasn't their only kin. Dovekit and Ivy Kit were also related to Firestar through their grandfather, Cloudtail, and Jayfeather realized that one of them must be the third cat in the prophecy. Leafpool decided to step down from being a medicine cat after the truth about her kits was revealed. Jayfeather was left to care for the clan himself, 
though Brightheart ass assisted him from time to time. Shortly after White Wing's kits were apprenticed, Lion Blaze brought the one he was mentoring, Duffpaw, to Jayfeather. She had senses that were far keener than any other cat in the clan, even Jayfeather himself, and he thought it might mean that she was the third. They tested this by having Lion Blaze go off into the forest, and Duffpaw telling Jayfeather what Lion Blaze was doing. And once they confirmed that she wasn't an ordinary cat, they told her about the prophecy. Lion Blaze and Duffpaw went on a patrol to figure out what was blocking the stream and causing the lake to dry up, while Jayfeather remained behind to care for his clan. He found the expectant Queen Poppy Frost at the moon pool one night, being threatened by his half brother, Breeze Belt of Wind Clan. Jayfeather fought Breeze Belt and an unknown spirit cat until he was rescued by the spirit of Poppy Frost's sister, Honeyfern. Yellowfang also showed up and warned Jayfeather that she knew who the mysterious spirit cat was and that the forces of the dark forest were rising. Jayfeather spoke to the ancient spirit rock, who told him that he knew what was happening with the dark forest and that he was powerless to change it. Rock then confirmed that he'd known about Jayfeather's true parents, and Jayfeather broke Rock's stick in anger. After Lionblaze and Duffpaw returned, Jayfeather told his brother what he'd learned about the Dark Forest, and Lionblaze explained that Tigerstar had once tried to train him, and was likely already training Tawny Pelt's son, Tigerheart. The two knew that before long, it would come to battle. Firestar finally spoke to the three about the prophecy, after Dovepaw got into trouble for investigating something that she'd only been aware of due to her powerful hearing. He didn't know what it meant any more than they did, however. After a tree fell into the hollow and Briarlight's spine was broken, Jayfeather took care of her. When she was particularly down and feeling useless, he assigned her tasks that she could do to assist him. Jayfeather discovered while walking in dreams that Dovepaw's sister, Ivypaw, was training in the dark forest as well as several other cats from all of the clans. He decided not to do anything about it yet, though. It would be best, he thought, to just keep an eye on her and see if they learned anything that way. Eventually, Ivypaw realized that they meant to attack the clans, and Jayfeather suggested that she spy on the dark forest for them. After some convincing from Dovepaw, she agreed. After the two she-cats had become warriors, Jayfeather was visited by Rock again, he told him that he needed to go back to the mountains to complete the cycle, whatever that meant. Firestar let him go, and sent Dovewing, Foxleaf, and Squirrelflight with him. This time when he was there, he had his second unexpected trip into the ancient past. He found the ancient cats shortly after they had arrived in the mountains. They were reluctant to stay, but he helped show them how to live there. He also discovered that he, Dovewing, and Lionblaze were reincarnations of ancient cats, he had been Jay's wing, Dovewing had been Dove's wing, and Lionblaze had been Lion's roar. During his time in the past, he and a she-cat named Halfmoon began to develop feelings for each other, but it was never meant to work between them. He appointed her as the first teller of the pointed stones for the tribe, and then was brought back to the present. Before they left the tribe, Jayfeather was visited in his dream by a tribe ancestor named Cloud with Storm and Belly. She informed him that Stone Teller was about to die, and that Jayfeather would need to pick his successor. And as far as the prophecy, Bree must become four to challenge the darkness that lasts forever. While he tried to puzzle this out, there is more for Jayfeather to deal with after traveling back to ThunderClan. Hollyleaf had made her way back to the clan after her apparent death. Yellowfang told Jayfeather that it was time for Cinderheart to learn that she was a reincarnation of Cinderpelt so he walked in her dreams and revealed to her her past life. Then Don Pelt of Shadow Clan accused Jayfeather of murdering her brother, Flametail. He had been present when the other medicine cat had died, and had even jumped into the water to try to save him, but he was unable to, and would have drowned himself if he hadn't let go. The other clans were distrustful of Jayfeather due to his half-clan birth, however, and insisted that he wouldn't be recognized as a medicine cat until Star Clan revealed the truth to them. Jayfeather found Flametail in Star Clan. The dead medicine cat was resentful that Jayfeather had survived the incident and that he hadn't, but he agreed to tell Little Cloud that Jayfeather was innocent. Now that that was settled, Jayfeather could go back to worrying about the prophecy in the dark forest. Finally, he saw an omen that let him know that the fourth cat must be Firestar. Firestar brought the three to meet with the other clan leaders, and they let them know about the prophecy and what was happening with the dark forest. 
Jayfeather convinced Leafpool to help him out during the fight, and told her that there was nothing to forgive for giving up her kits, because she had been doing what she thought was right. She would return to her duties as Medicine Cat alongside him permanently after this. The battle against the Dark Forest was long and difficult, and many cats died, but in the end, the living clans prevailed. After the battle, Jayfeather, Lionblaze, and Dubwing began to lose their powers. They went to the moon pool to speak with Starkland about it, and were met by Rock and Midnight, who told them that the reason their powers were fading was because they were no longer needed. A few moons later, Crowfeather asked for Leafpool, and Jayfeather was sent to meet him instead. Windclan was having trouble with stoats in the tunnels, and Crowfeather had gone behind One Star's back to see if the clans could work together to deal with the problem. Jayfeather agreed to bring it up to Bramblestar. One Star initially didn't want to work together, but eventually he agreed. Afterward, Jayfeather had a moment alone with his father when Crowfeather had asked for herbs. By this point, Crowfeather had accepted that Jayfeather, Lionblaze, and Hollyleaf were his kits, and he was even certain Jayfeather's prickly attitude came from him. Jayfeather told him that he still didn't forgive Crowfeather for rejecting them when he found out that he was their father, and he didn't forgive Breezepelt for his involvement with the Dark Forest. But he gave Crowfeather the herbs anyway. Not long afterward, Jayfeather began to have omens of something dark and destructive coming to ThunderClan. It ended up being a terrible storm that caused floods, forcing ThunderClan to evacuate their camp. But like all their past problems, they survived it, and life eventually went back to normal. A few moons later, Firestar came to Jayfeather and the other medicine cats, telling them a new prophecy. Embrace what you find in the shadows, for only they can clear the sky. At the end of the vision, he ended up noticing a young ThunderClan town watching them. It was Alderpaw, one of Squirrelflight's kits. He had started training as a warrior, but things weren't going well, and Jayfeather knew that Alderpaw's true destiny was to be a medicine cat due to his connection with StarClan. Alderpaw agreed, and he became Jayfeather's apprentice. Jayfeather was often grumpy and impatient as a mentor, but he also appreciated when Alderpaw did well, and so Alderpaw knew that when Jayfeather praised him, he really meant it. Eventually, Jayfeather gave Alderpaw his full medicine cat name, Alderheart. Jayfeather continued to be known for his cranky attitude, but Alderheart was used to it and would often jokingly respond to him. A while after SkyClan had come to the lake, ThunderClan cats started coming down with a sickness. Jayfeather fell ill, and to his dismay, he was too sick to care for his clanmates and had to be the patient himself for a change. He especially wasn't thrilled when Alderheart assigned a chatty young kitty pet named Fuzzball to tend to him. He gradually got better, but was still sick when he had to help deliver some kits while Leafpool and Alderheart were away at a gathering. Briarlight was present at the king, and Jayfeather realized later that she'd caught the sickness from him while there. Jayfeather worked fiercely to try to save her, but she died, and he blamed himself for her death. Jayfeather noticed that Alderheart was growing close to a kitty pet she cat who was staying with ThunderClan. He gave a speech to Alderheart about how he knew what it felt like, due to his feelings for Half Moon, and that the clan needed Alderheart, only to awkwardly head back to bed once Alderheart got a word in edgewise and told him that he knew that and was just considering how to say goodbye. Several moons later, Leafpool died in Rockfall. Jayfeather spoke at her vigil, talking about how even though he had felt betrayed when he'd learned that she was really his mother, he had eventually forgiven her, and that he loved her as a clanmate and respected her. He was the first cat to call her names to the stars when the clans honored her at the next gathering. Not long after that, the medicine cats stopped hearing from StarClan. Jayfeather was particularly upset about this, and at the idea of trying to break the ice on the pool. He was also suspicious that Chetopaw would be the only cat to supposedly have a connection with them anymore. He didn't agree with Shadowpaw's treatment for Bramblestar, but accepted that Squirrelflight wanted to try it. After Bramblestar seemingly returned from losing a life, he started talking about persecuting Codebreakers, and Jayfeather and Lionblaze were two of the cats named due to their half-clan birth. Jayfeather soon came to realize that it was actually a different spirit that had taken over Bramblestar's body and was pretending to be him. The imposter exiled Jayfeather and Lionblaze from the clan, and they sheltered with the other rebels in Shadow Clan territory until the imposter, who turned out to be Ashfur, was captured. Jayfeather hoped that Star Clan would return to him, but he feared that they would have to get used to life without the guidance of their ancestors. 
Jay Feather has been through a lot in his life. Often thought to be the crankiest cat in all the clans, he is an excellent medicine cat behind his rough exterior and unflinchingly loyal to his clan.